So on the affirmative side, um, they, uh, my opponent was saying how that the Affordable Care Act, um, the money all goes to paying for the expenses. However, paying these um, money actually goes to a lot of benefits to families, uh, to people of all ages, including mothers, children, seniors. And um, these, pre these costs provide free preventative care and annual checkups. The law focuses on prevention and primary care to help people stay healthy and to manage chronic medical conditions before they become more complex and costly to treat. New private health plans must cover and eliminate cost sharing for proven preventive, preventive measures such as immunizations and cancer screenings. There are also additional preventive measures for women uh, that goes to if they are going to into labor or if they have any checkups needed. Um, you know, this provides many benefits for, um, for, for them. And also for diabetes, um, domestic violence screening, um, contraception, and um, breastfeeding supplies are all with no cost sharing. So even though you pay money you know, for the insurance, there's a lot of benefits that come with it. And there's a lot of um, free um, care that also um, helps um, people. So um, the premium rebates of insurance underspend on care, the health losses that most insurers must spend at least 8%. However, um, through these, um, the workplaces run by um, religious organizations that object to birth control do not have to also pay for contraception, but um, existing plans that haven't changed significantly since passage of the law can continue to charge for preventive care until 2014. Saying that, um, since starting January 1st, 2014, um, there comes a lot of um, new benefits, including the 10 essential benefits. Um, and including these 10 essential benefits are emergency services, hospitalizations, laboratory services, maternity care, mental health, prescription drugs, preventive care, and um, vision and dental care for children. And that comes from um, a source by Jason Furman of the Economic Benefits of the Affordable Care Act from the Council of Economic Advisors. Um, having said that, children are also cared for in many good ways. Children under 19 years old can have um, dental checkups, uh, two dental checkups annually. And also, um, they. Um, as mentioned before, they can stay under their parents' insurance until the age of 26. And that's actually a very good span amount of time because um, 26 years is quite a while. And um, also, from the expenses, even though we do have to pay for the Affordable Care Act, that um, as one another benefit, if you make less than 400% of the federal poverty level, which is 93700 as a family of four, or $46,021 as an individual back in the year 2013, you may be eligible to receive subsidies for reduced premiums, VIA tax credits offered on your state's health insurance exchange. And uh, these online marketplaces where Americans can purchase health pro plans uh, can also enjoy all these new benefits, rights, and protections offered by the law. Also, if you make less than 200% of the poverty level, you may be eligible with out-of-pocket costs on health insurance purchased on the marketplace. Um, you know, that also goes for, so when you invest your money into the insurance, um, there's a lot of good that can come out of it. Another good that can come out of it is that um, even though um, over 600, well, or actually over 60% of bankruptcies in the U.S. are medically related, um, by 2014, which it is 2014 already, um, the elimination of both lifetime and annual limits will protect Americans from going bankrupt. So right now, we're in the year 2014, we're pretty much safe, and we're good to go. And um, you know, the bankruptcy is not as much as an issue. Uh, money wouldn't be too much of an issue, because it allows them to continue treatment as long as they need it, uh, not just until their dollar limit is reached. Um, also, uh, many low to middle income Americans and small businesses had trouble before affording health care, but now, um, since um, laws have changed, um, 
the Affordable Care Act contains um, provisions that solve all of these problems. We will get uh, to your rights and protections in a minute. That's what they say. In a source um, from Philip Moyler's um, 10 Good Things About the Affordable Care Act from the US News Report, um, that um, people should not be as concerned about investing their money into the insurance because there's a lot of benefits that come with it um, for people all ages, any gender, um, seniors as well can benefit a lot um, from the Affordable Care Act. And um, also, adults with pre-existing conditions um, who have been without coverage for at least six months may be eligible for subsidized coverage through the, temp the temporary pre-existing pre condition insurance plan in their state. So this is not just for kids or women or seniors. This applies to also adults of you know ages 20 to 50. And um, this um, is a very good... Um, benefit because um, people around that age usually are the ones that pay or um, invest their money into insurance. Um, they're usually the ones that help pay for the old, the elders or the, the children. So for them to also have um, the benefit, it helps them be able to um, pay for the Affordable Care Act. And um, going from that, children under age 19 um, with pre-existing conditions also cannot be denied coverage by most insurers, um, whether um, they have serious diabetes or any type of conditions. Um, the Affordable Care Act is to help um, help them, no matter how severe the disease is. So um, saying that, um, it, having the Affordable Care Act really is a benefit. Um, investing money shouldn't be a problem because so much good comes out of it. Um, you know, it saves lives, and that's what it's about. You want to be healthy, you want to live a healthy lifestyle. So, yeah. All right, thank you.